hello everyone you all remembered in my previous video i showed you all how you can make your own baking powder at home so in this video today i'll be making use of my homemade baking powder to show you guys how it works so i started by making a simple very simple cake recipe using 62 grams of butter 62 grams of granulated sugar and 62 grams of whole eggs and to that i added 62 grams of sifted all-purpose flour in this video i'm just making one bowl cake recipe so i added one teaspoon of vanilla extract then went ahead and used my hand whisk to whisk everything thoroughly to cream it thoroughly till everything is properly combined smooth and silky so once my butter was ready the next thing i did was to add my homemade baking powder i added half teaspoon of my homemade baking powder so if you're looking to making this homemade baking powder i'll be dropping the link in the description section uh, you're gonna check it out there yeah so i added half teaspoon of my homemade baking powder and make sure that i mix or cream everything very very well so that everything will just combine so well because if you leave your baking powder to Pack on one side of your batter is going to make the batter to taste bitter. So once you have, uh, once I was done uh, mixing everything, I just decided to make a marble cake. But if you just want to bake your own straight up, just grease your baking pan and transfer the batter into the baking pan and bake it. But because I just wanted to make uh, a marble cake, I decided to separate it into two parts and to one part i added um, red velvet food color note that this is not red velvet cake <laughs> because a lot of people may say oh is this how to make no it is not red velvet cake i just made a normal vanilla cake and just added its color to just change the color that's all so don't don't say i said it is red velvet cake <laughs> so i went ahead and started scooping this um the colored one then the plain cake the butter the colored butter the plain butter just like that here everything was scooped inside the baking pan lined with baking paper and greased as well Once I was done scooping everything into my um, baking pan lined with the baking paper, I tapped this on my work surface severally and then I made some kind of designs on the cake just like, you know, trying to make it in the marble form. So I just did some designs but if you don't want, you can just leave it and just bake the cake that way, okay? I just made some kind of designs on the cake and once I was done doing that, I transferred this into my uh, preheated oven and I baked this at 150 degrees C for 40 minutes. So the temperature between 35 to 40 minutes, uh, time, sorry, between 35 to 40 minutes is okay and your cake will bake so well. You can see how the cake is it's very soft and fluffy so and also moist as well. So I transfer this on a cooling rack and let it cool down completely. In the same hand while my cake is cooling i went ahead and used the same recipe i used in the first time to make a second batch of cake butter but this time around i used half teaspoon of store bought baking powder because i want to compare the baking powder i made and the one that i bought from the stores so i also baked this uh in the same pan the same temperature and the same time the same timing yeah so after that, I had to wrap my cake for some time overnight to keep it moist and soft. Then I sliced this cake open to show you guys that I, I couldn't <laughs> cite any differences in the cake. They came out the same, yeah, the same height, texture, taste, softness. Everything was so perfect. So in case you don't have your baking powder but you want to make cake yes you want to make cake you have baking soda at home just add those little things i told you about and you have your amazing 
baking powder and you have wonderful cake if you love this recipe don't forget to subscribe share like and comment